the best way to make coins in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team is to trade. There is some times where, of course, you can make other coins from maybe getting a good pack pool, however, consistently to make the most amount of coins you guys are going to be wanting to trade. At first, trading can be difficult, especially if you guys are new to FIFA 22 trading. However, if you do know the right methods, you guys can make a lot of coins very quickly. And that's why in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best trading methods in FIFA 22. So hopefully you guys find it helpful. The first trading method which I recommend you guys go into is the bronze trading method. Now this is incredibly simple. All you're going to want to do is head to the transfer market and put the max price to 200 and the quality to bronze rare. You will then need to proceed to search the market. And what you'll see is all these bronze rare cards that do pop up. Now you're looking for ones with bids on such as this Liu Jian Shai. So he has a bid on for 150 coins. So what you do, you compare the price and you find the lowest buy now of this card on the market. So currently it's 400 coins, lowest buy now 350. Uh, 200 so this guy isn't worth bidding on what you're looking for is someone who has a lowest buy now of above over 500 coins and try and win them on uh, buy now for around 300 400 coins so for example here again this belgian guy obviously 150 coins or he has a, a buy now on the market for 350 coins so he is not going to be worth it but if you just keep scrolling the pages you'll consistently find guys who have bids on and it is very simple because you just want to look for people who have bids on and yet again compare now he is error to which means he probably does have a decent amount of value so lowest right now is 950 coins 250 there but 250 here what you can do as well while you're searching the market is you may be able to seal d see deals such as this that one at 250 obviously did just sell but 850 coins now will be the cheapest version of this guy on the market so if we try and pick him up on bid for around 300 coins that will work so what you do is while they are running out on coins with your leftover coins that you still do have you then just continue to search the market for other deals anytime you find someone with a bid add on transfer targets compare the price yet again search 300 coins not going to be worth it but what have we done well while uh, that we've been checking out the other players hopefully you guys have won these methods uh, won these players now I did already bid on another guy which we uh, did successfully win for 300 coins and obviously this guy will go and bid for 150 but with this trading method you probably win around 10 out of 10 deals to be honest you very rarely get outbid and that is why it is so effective at a low budget for example this alvaro his cheapest buy now on the market obviously with him being in the mls and being mexican his cheapest buy now is looking at around 1000 coins however using the bronze trading method we picked him up at 300 coins so we'll list that at 900 that is a really quick 600 coin profit now especially when you guys are on a low budget these profits are huge however you guys are going to want to make sure that sometimes these players may take a decent amount of time to sell here we go then we got a massive undercut on this and Eng Goy right here so we can pick these up just quickly while we're uh, searching the market we can pick this one up for 200 and this one up for 200 and that makes the cheapest one of him on the market for 750 so then we'll go ahead and take all of these and we'll list all three of them on the market at 600 coins. And they should go and sell on obviously that one at 300 and then the other two at 200. You guys are going to want to be making sure that when you are looking at the prices of these players, like when you're comparing them, that there isn't any open deals sitting on the market like there was there. Because if they are, you want to make sure to pick them up. Now guys, the next method which I would actively recommend to you guys is bulk bidding. And I've spoke a lot about bulk bidding on my channel before, but that is just because it is incredibly effective. So for example, all you need to do is go onto Footbin or Footwiz and find a player who has a going rate of around 900 to 1000 coins. Often 82s are the best to do this with. So for example, you find someone such as Undon Bele, who does go on the market for around 950 coins there, as you guys can see. So you just want to uh, put the max price to around 750 coins and then go and bid on every single one of these end on ballets for 750 coins. Now they don't have that long to expire. Obviously you guys are going to be wanting to use this method when you have around uh, 10k from the bronze trading method because that then means that you guys can uh, win a substantial amount of these cards at often around 10 at once. You may out be outbid on some of these as it is quite an effective trading method but if you can just win all of them for 750 they will, 750, they will eventually run out. And also, guys, it's really effective no matter what coins you have. You guys can do this uh, for when you have around 10,000 coins. Or you guys can do this just with unlimited coins. Because it's literally free and you do win a lot of these cards. As you guys can see, they are starting to tick over at 750 coins. But it's not just end on Bele. As I said, when you guys are using this trading method, you can do it with a bunch of different players. For example, uh, other players with a bit of a higher price range work. So say you have a bit of a higher budget, you'll be looking at 83s and 84s. So for example, Minan on the market sells for around 4,000 coins. 
Now, we know that tax on 4,000 coins is 200. So if we drop it down to 3.7k, we'll be making at least 100 coins on every card that is there. So we know that with the max price, we just want to set it to 3.7k and go into the market and then try and win any of these for 3.7k. As you can see, this is quite a popular method and someone is already doing it. So you don't want to outbid them at 3.7k, so you just scroll along and then find the ones which you can bid on for 3.7k. Now, yet again, this method is really simple and you do end up winning pretty high percentage of these cards, especially the lower rated ones. And it's very quick and easy to make you guys very simple coins when you're starting out. You don't have to be incredibly smart doing these trading methods. You just need to be consistent and eventually do start to come through like these end on bellies. You don't have to be a smart. It's a very simple trading method. However, it does bring in a constant flow of coins to your guys' accounts. So go ahead and list these up for 900 coins. Now moving on to the next trading method, which yet again involves Silver Team of the Week cards. This is one of the most active and best methods in FIFA 22. And that is because you guys can be uh, relatively new to FIFA 22 trading and barely ever done it before, but the filters are literally uncontested like this. So as you guys can see, we win this Aram Cabrera for 7,500 coins just while I was showing you guys the filter. The next one up is at 8,500, which just sold. Now I do have a pretty decent amount of these Silver Team of the Weeks because of the amount of deals that do pop up. Obviously, I do have three already up here, which we were successfully able to get. But it's really easy. And basically, the premise behind this method, all you're going to want to do is first find the going rate of all these Silver Team of the Weeks on the market, which right now is looking at around uh, 8,800 coins. We'll put it as the cheapest on the market. But... Some players uh, like this Oros, for example, might have a bit more of a going rate. The ones that are in the current team of the week will be cheaper than the rest. But cards such as Oros may have a different um, rate, just uh, price on the market. And that is because they haven't been in team of the weeks for a different amount or they are required uh, for some sort of challenge or in some sort of SBC. So, for example, if we just go ahead and check his price, obviously this isn't the right one. But what you want to do is just go ahead and check individually each of these prices. And the more that you do this method, you guys do start to learn. So, for example, Oros, that's a big undercut there on 9,000 coins to the next up, which is 10,000 coins. And you guys can see how active this method is and you just continually pick up these deals. So if we just bought that at uh, 9,000, we go list that at 9,900. It's still the cheapest on the market. Same with this Cabrera that we just won for 7,500 coins. 8.8 .8 puts it as the cheapest on the market and we will take the profit on that. What you guys want to do anyway is find the cheapest of these on the market, just in general, Silver Team of the Weeks, and you just want to do the compare price back out method. As we're doing that, another undercut here on Arthur Cabrera. This time, unfortunately, we missed it. But what you would do is find the cheapest of these uh, cards on the market, which is looking like around 9,000 coins. So all you do is compare the price of the player and then click Circle 2 back out. And what this does is it refreshes the market. So new deals such as this Arthur Cabrera here for 7,600 do pop up and all you guys need to do is make sure you are successfully taking advantage of these deals that do pop up now there is a lot of deals that do pop up and that is because this method is very active yet again here for 8,000 coins we've messed up the snipe but if we can successfully still get it yet again 8,000 coins the next one we can list up on the market for 8,800 and it will still be the cheapest and it's literally a rinse and repeat cycle this method is very very effective when you guys have between like 20 and 30k or it can be effective no matter your coin total it is just very very active and slowly these cards do start to sell on sometimes it may take time but as you guys can see these cards are starting to sell on but yet again here we've sold this arthur cabrera up for 8.8k so winning him at 8.2 we're going to take a nice little 500 coins winning him again here at 8.1 we'll list him up at 8.8 .8 again and take the coins on that again and then finally winning up this oros again we won him on 8k we know that we can sell him for 9k and look at all these deals that I've just got very, very quickly just from showing you guys the method. And that is how OP it is. And they will slowly start to sell on. But that, guys, is going to be the Silver Team of the Week method. And now the final trading method that I do recommend to you guys for making your first 100k in FIFA 22 is the old Team of the Week special card method. Now this works effectively because there has been so many Team of the Weeks now in FIFA 22. That if you guys do go onto a website such as Footbin and Footwiz, find players from the first five Team of the Week. So for example, someone such as Ferroni. Because these players have been put in SBCs and stuff, they have an increased value. So what you do is find the cheapest of these on the market. And what it looks like we found here is an undercut on Ferroni. So you find the cheapest of these on the market where there's more than one card, which is looking like this is a huge undercut on this Ferroni card. So I want to find the next highest that they are up. So 42k is the next one highest up on the market. So you would just go through and pick him up for 34750 
We then go and list this card on the market for 41,000 coins. And that is it. It's quick and free profit. Literally that simple, guys. And it takes relatively no effort. You don't have to be an expert trader. You just want to switch through these cards from the first five team of the weeks and pick up the deals that do pop up or if there is any undercuts. So we've moved on for Ferroni. Now on to Tonali. So find the cheapest rate, 35,750. Well, the next one up here is at 25,250. I have traded with this card in the past and I did sell it at 39k. But you just want to make sure the market isn't glitching out. So 25,250 and 28k. I could pick that up and sell it at 27,250. But for the sake of the very little profit, I'm not going to. Sometimes these cards may take a decent amount of time to sell. But it is very, very OP in helping you guys make out coins. So yet again, just another player will be uh, Bunu from uh, La Liga. So you just find the cheapest on the market. It's looking at around 30k. Obviously, remember to set the special to Team of the Week. Otherwise, you guys won't see his uh, his Team of the Week item. But So 30k, 29,250. 27,250, we could pick that up and sell it at 29k. And we would be making 400, 500 coins profit. But that, guys, is the final trading method, which I do recommend to you guys. These cards do sell on as well. As you can see, three items have already sold on, which include the Team of the Weeks. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, this video did help out. Make sure to subscribe and drop a like. Leave a comment as well. Join my FIFA 22 Discord server, link in the description. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully I helped.